Hi friends, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because honestly I wasn't even going to film today but tomorrow is my first day of clinicals and I'm so excited because I just want to apply everything that I learned in skills. I'm going to start clinicals at 5 and then at 3 which means that I'm going to wake up at 4 and I'm not I don't usually wake up at 4 you know I don't I'm not used to waking up that early so what I'm going to do is I'm going to meal prep for my three clinical days, I'm going to have one tomorrow, after tomorrow, and then I have a break, and then I'm going to go to clinicals the day after that. So two back to back. I haven't been eating the healthiest lately, but I also haven't been eating too much junk food, if that makes sense. But I definitely don't want to be eating outside for like during clinicals. So I'm going to meal prep, and this is my first time meal prepping. So this is exciting, and I have my stuff back there, like what I'm going to do. I'm going to do these like egg protein bites kind of like the ones from starbucks so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut up some broccoli onions and mushrooms and i'm going to mix it with eggs and then i'm going to put it in the cupcake holder maybe that's that could be for breakfast and then for lunch i'm thinking i don't know yet then i went ahead and preheat my oven to 375 and as you can see here i also added cheese to my eggs and this is what they turned out looking like after being in there for 15 to 20 minutes I also decided to roast my pecans or pecans however you want to pronounce it and I suggest flipping them one by one and make sure you put your heat on low to medium because you do not want to burn them I'm just picking up dishes because the few times that I do cook, I like to put everything away as I'm cooking because I hate seeing a mess and don't like cleaning up everything at once and then, so I just do it this way. I just decided to cut some potatoes, so I used this bag right here, and it came with two different potatoes, so I just cut them up into little pieces. Then I got some olive oil and just made sure to spread it. And then for the potatoes, I preheat my oven to 340, and they were in there for also 15 to 20 minutes. Okay guys, this is what I have so far. The egg bites, they smell so good by the way. And then my roasted pecans. And then I'm going to have these for the three days of clinicals. I just showed you guys what I have so far, and I showed you guys these. And I know earlier I mentioned that it's my first time meal prepping, and you guys are probably wondering how I have these if I've never meal prepped. But the reason is because my parents actually meal prep, so I know a couple of things about meal prepping, and that's why I have these ready, so just that I let you guys know. But again, I'm so excited, you guys. Um, I learned so much in skills this past week, and they throw so much information at you, but then once you're in the actual setting, I think that's when it makes it easier and all that, and... I'm actually still working on a couple modules and I needed to take a break because otherwise I'm going to take a nap and <laughs> because every time I study I have to nap for whatever reason like my body just has to nap so I don't want to nap because I want to sleep the whole night tonight that way I can be ready for tomorrow you know so that's why I got up and I started cooking but yeah I'm, I'm so excited you guys and I'm still waiting for my potatoes to come out and then I took chicken breasts out so that they can what is the word because I don't really know what it's what it's called in what it's like the word in English, but it's like because the chicken is frozen, so I um I left it out so that it can, it can defrost. I really don't know what the word is. After I washed my chicken breasts and I pat dry them, I added some paprika, black pepper, and garlic, and then I just made sure that it had it all over front and back. So I'm waiting for my chicken that's in the oven to cook and right now I'm eating salad. I had some leftover broccoli from earlier so I just went ahead and put them in. Oh my gosh, my camera going down. So I just put the broccoli in my salad because I didn't want to cook anything. This was the easiest thing I found. So I'm just going to eat that and I'm studying at the same time because I have a state final this Friday and I really want to pass the first time but I think I'll do well. So that's what I'm doing now and... Like I said, I'm waiting for my chicken. Hey guys, this is what I meal prepped. I'm so excited. The chicken is actually very juicy. I was scared it wasn't going to be because I put it in the oven. But I don't know. Like I said, 
it was my first time meal prepping and i honestly don't even cook often so i'm very excited it looks pretty good the chicken is good the potatoes were good too i mean broccoli is broccoli i haven't tried the egg bites i'm excited to try that tomorrow but yeah this is what i have this honestly took me way too long because again i rarely cook but i think it's good experience for me hey guys so it's actually 6 20 right now and i think yesterday i mentioned that i started clinicals at five but i messed up we started at six i don't know why i was thinking five but i do still get out at three so it's not that bad and i'm really excited i don't know what i'm going to face today i don't know i'm so excited um so they told us not to get here 10 minutes early because staff won't be here and I think I just saw one of my classmates obviously not go inside, but this is like the first time ever I'm actually early, early to the place. So I got my scrubs on and we got black scrubs. I was thinking we're going to get different color. Oh my God, what is that? I was thinking we we're going to get different color scrubs, but this is fine. I washed them the day I got them. I have my clinical student name badge, name tag right here. So it's not, it's not anything like official. It just says clinical student on it. But yeah, um, I'm so excited again. And oh my gosh, on the on the way here, there were no cars whatsoever. I don't have anything with me. I even forgot my wallet <laughs> because they told us not to bring anything valuable, even though we can't leave it in the car. But I just don't trust leaving stuff in my car because um, I'm working in LTC, which stands for long-term care. And we're going to face a lot of patients with dementia. And they just wander around is what they told us and like they'll take sips from your cups and everything so this that's why i brought this one today instead of the one with the straw because i don't want anybody getting in there just anybody in general you know and i got my lunch bag lunch lunch box i don't know it's not even mine it's my dad's i stole it from him and then i got my i have my gate belt which is this to help transfer patients around but um I'm about to go inside, you guys. Wish me luck. This is my first clinical ever. I'm so excited. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Wish me luck. <laughs> guys, I'm done with clinicals for today. I gotta do the same thing tomorrow. Like, a big thing that I noticed was that most of these residents keep their room temperature at 80. So when I was in there moving around, walking, oh my gosh, it was so hot in there. And even some of them would say that it was cold. And I was like, no, I'm burning. <laughs> like even 80 degrees is pretty hot and now imagine when you're walking around but overall it was so it was such a good experience for me today and i put this thing on my head just because like my fire my, like my bangs just kept getting in my face but um yeah it was really good i, I really like the hands-on instead of just learning you know or practicing on the mannequins and all and it's so different for example like peri care is different obviously from a mannequin or the dummies because you know like the skin gets like with gravity it goes down and everything so it's much more difficult to wipe the patients for example and like just little things like that but overall i really liked it i'm excited for tomorrow again my feet really did hurt and i'm very sleepy right now but while i was working i didn't feel tired like i didn't feel like napping or anything but my legs were definitely hurting, especially because I'm sore since I raced dad the other day. And we wanted to, to see who who's a faster sprinter. So I definitely pulled something. And by the way, I lost. Which I think I could have won if only he would. Like, anyway, we, we tied. So we had to do another one. Like we had to race four times. Anyway, that's a whole different story. But yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow. Um... I gotta wake up at the same time, come to the same shift. I think I should probably wash my scrubs because I don't know what it touched. To mention that everybody that I worked with today was really nice. Like the the residents, oh my gosh, how did I forget to say that? Okay, so the residents are so sweet. They're so polite. They say please and thank you for everything. And I was listening to some of their stories. Like they love to talk and they'll tell you about their stories. And it's just so fascinating to me because, you know, like we're all going to go through that hopefully because you never know what could happen but you know so they're just telling me all their stories and it's so nice to hear them talk and they're all so happy and, oh my gosh real quick one of the patients asked me to open the window but they were in the way so i had to climb like on their bed while they were sitting there and she had just hurt her her knees really bad so i try to be really careful and uh, I was following a CNA around the whole day today, but then I did, towards the end, I started doing things on my own. I did get to um, 
like I, I did get to dump out the catheters, um, like two of them. I did a lot of um, peri care, um, feeding. So yeah, it, it was nice. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. And then what else? So I was saying like the patients, are just, like the residents are just really nice. I really like it. Oh, okay. So I was saying about the window. So one of the residents asked me to open up her window and they can only open like this much, like a couple inches, like four inches. That's as far as it could go. So she asked me if I could open her window when I was following the CNA around. And then she was, while well, she was with another patient, she like, I was like, oh, let me do it. So I went and I, uh, I had to climb on her bed. So I had to like tilt her, her bed back and I was climbing on her bed and like I was trying to be careful not to hurt her legs or anything. Because it was, in the, it was pretty crowded. And then I opened the window and I was like, uh, I didn't know that they could only go that far. And she was like, yep, that's it. That's as far as it can go. And I was like, okay. Like, and she was like, as soon as I opened the window, she's like, you did it. And like, I don't know. That just made me feel really happy just because, I don't know. You know when people say you did it or you did a good job. Sometimes people think it's whatever. But this time I was like, oh, thank you. Because she was just so nice about it. And she's like, you're like a little monkey. And then she was telling me how she watches the monkeys on the... I don't know what channel and she said like monkeys are so cute I was like I know but yeah anyway yeah she was really nice um but overall I had a really really good experience today I'm glad I got to do a lot of hands-on and that the CNA let me do a lot of hands-on instead of just her, her showing me because tomorrow when I come back I'm going to have very little supervision and then on the third day of clinicals, I'm going to be on my own. So wish me luck on that. Like, oh my gosh, I'm nervous for that. But I'm sure I'll have somebody help me out either way. Like if I ask for help or anything. That was pretty much it for this vlog. Um, I'm very excited just to see where this whole thing is going to take me. And what kind of jobs I'm going to get, etc. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.